Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Hornsby, your online myofunctional therapist, and today I wanted to talk about what does a myofunctional therapist actually do? So as a myofunctional therapist, it's my job to teach people exercises that have to do with nasal breathing, resting your tongue in the right place, resting your mouth with your lips closed together, and swallowing properly. So everything I do is teaching exercises, and most of these exercises revolve around the tongue. So when I work with patients, it's my job to determine what's wrong with the tongue and how do I fix the tongue. So the two things that can be wrong with your tongue is that you're either tongue tied or you have a tongue thrust. So if you're tongue tied, you have a physical problem with your tongue. It's being anchored down into the floor of your mouth by your frenum. The frenum is underneath your tongue. It's that line of skin that you can see that connects the tongue to the floor of the mouth. And in some people, this is too short. For people who are tongue or who have a tongue thrust, they have a habit and their tongue has learned to rest in the bottom of their mouth, not because of a physical problem. Usually it's because of a breathing problem. So I have to help people get their tongues to rest in the top of their mouth by teaching them exercises. So these exercises are really unique and they're pretty fun to do. These exercises are all based around the goals, the four goals of myofunctional therapy, which are breathing through your nose day and night, resting with your lips together day and night, swallowing properly day and night, and resting your tongue fully in the roof of your mouth during the day and during the night. So if you can kind of picture exercises that maybe a physical therapist would teach you or maybe a personal trainer at the gym, this is how the exercises um, are structured. So I give people maybe four exercises, maybe five exercises to work on, and they have an entire week to practice those exercises. It's a little bit like working with a personal trainer in the, in the fact that if you do these exercises um, and you don't know what you're doing, I can give you personal feedback on how can you change, how can you adapt, and how can you make these exercises um, how can you do them the right way? That's, that's really the gist of it. So what am I doing when I'm teaching these exercises? It's really not that, um, it, it's not that foreign of a concept. It's really like learning any other exercise. So if you are learning how to swing a baseball bat or throw a ball or kick a ball, or even something like, um, if you're learning how to, um, salsa dance, all of these movements may be new to your body and your brain has to form new neuromuscular connections from your brain to those muscles in your body. I'm doing the exact same thing with myofunctional therapy, except I'm helping you form new neuromuscular connections from your brain going to your tongue and the muscles in your face and mouth. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that's a good explanation for you of what myofunctional therapy actually is and how it works. I look forward to sharing more information about myofunctional therapy with you in the future. So stay tuned to this channel, subscribe and like, and I will see you guys soon.